Hey, good morning everybody. Good evening. Good afternoon. A really big complaint that I have had lately that people want to know how to fix is blurry edges or jagged edges. And the only way that you're going to fix these things, and I'm going to start from easy to, to just needing a bit of money, because there's multiple things going on here, alright? The first and most easiest thing to do to make sure that this is not going to happen is to make sure that your resolution is your monitor's resolution. If you're playing in a lower resolution, your game will not be as smooth. Another thing to check real quick to see that if you have it on or not is going to be the super resolution from AMD Fidelity FX or your render scale scale percentage under render scale. Both of those are found in graphics adjustments. These are going to make your game render at a lower res and be upscaled to your resolution. So what happens is you will get less good quality lines and less good quality edges. Now the other thing too is we have to pay attention to our anti-aliasing and something called MP or MIP LOD bias at the bottom right. So here's the thing. The higher that you increase MSAAA, or MSAA, sorry, the more graphically intensive the entire game will be. So if you're on a track in single player, you can probably turn this up higher than if you were on Shotoko Revival Project in a server with a lot of cars. This is going to be one of the main things affecting the line smoothness or jagged lines on telephone poles, tracks, power lines, and other cars. The other thing that's important to know is FXAA in the right side of AC video is your fast approximate anti-aliasing which you can combine with MSAA for a smoother, less jagged game. And then if you do have extra effects on, you can also run temporal anti-aliasing. And what this is going to do is really going to amplify blurring those jagged edges together. But if you use temporal anti-aliasing combined with these other two, your game may actually get kind of blurry overall. Another thing you can do is adjust your LOD bias. The lower that you go with this, the more crazy sharpening your game will have. So maybe your game just isn't sharp enough and changing this down one click might be that fine adjustment to the recipe for your perfect graphics that you want. Another thing that we can also adjust to change some of the jagged lines that'll be coming off of reflections and stuff like that is going to be your um your graphics adjustments to your post processing anti aliasing if you have it on 3.1 on ultra again is going to provide the most clarity and less jagged lines for the most part so those are some important things you need to know and another thing too that's really good to know is if you have your shadow resolution really high, your shadows become much more sharper and you can visibly see the sharpness of those shadows in the distance. So if you actually have too high of a shadow resolution, your shadows are going to look sharp at a distance and it can provide a false sense of jagged lines when you're playing on a track that has a lot of trees and a lot of sun because you'll get more shadows coming through they'll be way sharper they're more detailed and as you're approaching them you're going to see a bunch of shadowy lines on the track because you have so much shadow detail 
So if you adjust those things, those few things all together, you will eventually find the perfect recipe to make your game jagged line free and 100% smooth. Throughout the process, you may even make it too smooth to where it looks blurry. And that's just something that you can fix by changing all of those settings together that we just went over. Have a good day, everybody. Take care. Stay gaming.